Good morning, grade three. This morning, we are going to be looking at some soldier sums, but this time we are doing minus soldier sums and they're going to have borrowing. So before we start, I just want to remind us of place value in our numbers. So when we've got a number that looks like this, it's got 110 and a unit, so 138. We need to remember that this three over here doesn't stand for three. Because it's in the tens column, it's actually 30. It's like there's a little zero hiding behind this number eight. Okay, so he's actually 30. Just the same with the hundred, he's not actually a one. Okay, he stands for a hundred. It's like there are two little zeros hiding behind these two numbers. So this is actually 138. All right, let's have a look at our first example. So we've got over here 83 minus 45. Okay, remember we always start in our units column. Okay, so let's have a look. Our sum would be 3 minus 5. Now, this is where we had a bit of a problem, don't we? We can't say 3 minus 5. So if I've got three sweets and Simon wants five of my sweets, I don't have any more to give him. Okay, so what we do then is we, we borrow from the tens column. Okay, so because my units column doesn't have enough, I'm going to borrow from my tens column. So what I do is uh, from this 8, which actually stands for 80, okay, I'm going to take away 10 and give it to the units column. So if I take away 10 from 80, it gives us 70. So I'm going to cross out this 8 because it's not an 80 anymore. It now becomes a 7, standing for 70, okay? And I give that 10 that I took away, I'm going to give it to my units column. So now I've got... 13. Okay, does everybody understand that part? Right, now my sum is actually 13 minus 5. That I can do. Okay, 13 minus 5 gives me, count on your hands, gives me 8. Okay, so 13 minus 5 gives me 8. Now I can go back to my tens column. And now because I've borrowed that 10, it's no longer 8 anymore. That's why I crossed it out. I'm actually working with a 7, okay, which actually stands for 70. So 7 minus 4, easy peasy, is 3. Okay, so 83 minus 45 gives me 38. Let's have a look at another example. So I've got 76 minus 28. So, as normal, we always start with our units column. So, we've got 6 minus 8. Now, we can't actually do that. And you can't just switch it around. You can't just say 8 minus 6, because that's not what my sum is. My sum is 6 minus 8, and I don't have enough. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow from this 10 next door and give him to the units column. So, if I take 10 away from 70, it becomes... 60 just like that and i'm going to give that 10 to my units column okay so i'm going to pass them over to the next column so now i've got 16 minus 8 16 minus 8 is 8 okay then i've done that column now i can move over to my tens column and i've got 6 minus 2 that i can do which gives me 4 okay so 76 Minus 28 is 48.